and uh, I was lucky enough to get picked up for the exchange program. So what that means is um, every few years the RAF will pick up a U.S. naval pilot or navigator um, and bring, a, bring us to the United Kingdom and fly with their forces and then they send, send one of their um, pilots or navigators to the United States and it's sort of a, a trade so that uh, I can bring to the table some things from the United States for the RAF to learn and at the same time I'm picking up a lot of information from them that I can bring back to the States. Yeah, so that's a great, a great partnership that we have. We learn from uh, one another's militaries and uh, it's just a great program overall. Absolutely. Well, the coalition is extremely important because um, there's one goal, one overall goal that everybody's trying to accomplish, and it's uh, mainly for the safety of the troops on the ground that we have there and also the um, innocent civilian uh, people on the ground. And all of us working together towards the same goal um, is really a requirement. We need all of us and the numbers and the cooperation between all the countries and allied forces to come together as a team to accomplish that goal. And I, I think without that, we'd have a really tough time um, succeeding as we are uh, in the effort. Uh, I think it's just the opportunity uh, that I've had to move over and learn their culture and uh, their language. Even though it is English, I, I have a tough time understanding them a lot of the time. And uh, you pick up a lot of things that you didn't know um, before living in the country. Uh, flying one of their jets has been amazing. Um, it's, it's a bit older, but it's, a, it's really, really capable at its job, and it's amazing in theater and the, the missions that it's flying now. So that's been really great as well. So I'd say overall, just the experience of working with a completely different military, flying their aircraft, which has been amazing. The guys on the ground are Marines and Army, so we work with them every single time we fly. We contact them on the ground, and then they ask us, or excuse me, we ask them what they need from us and what kind of air power we can provide and based on what they need and that's why we're getting airborne in the first place to support the Marines and the Army and all our allied forces on the ground so um, like I mentioned before I mean we are as exchange officers gathering so much information and tactics and there are things that I see that I think the United States does better but there's also things that I see that the Brits do better that I'm going to be able to take back whether it be tactically or um, just the type of um, cooperation they use um, all different types of things so if I can bring back anything to the states in my service that's going to be beneficial to them just as I assume that their exchange officer is going to bring back it also gives you an idea of um, how they operate operate and how their mind is working tactically during missions. So when we have joint exercises and, and operations like this one, um, when I go back to the U.S. and I'm flying with the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force, I have a better understanding of what the RAF or the Royal Navy, uh, how they're thinking and, and how they're doing business. So I think um, overall, big picture, it's going to allow both nations uh, to understand one another better and work together better.